Okay, for my ingredients, I got half a cup of soy sauce, half a cup of sake, and three tablespoons of sugar. Just to make those cook. My half a cup of soy sauce. Half a cup of sake. Three tablespoons of sugar. Turn this on. Okay, I'm going to start to thread my skewers. I'm going to start with a piece of green onion, kind of act as a stopper. Um, grab a piece of chicken and just carefully thread this on top of the skewer. Be careful not to poke yourself, yeah? So I'm going to do one piece of onion and then two pieces of chicken. Get them on there. Be careful. And then another piece of onion, two pieces of chicken, and, and then another piece of onion. Um, I tried to cut off as much fat as I could. Uh, there's a small amount of fat on here, but that's okay. If you don't like the fat, you can cut it off yourself. You know, the Japanese like to have just the skin by itself, and they fry that up and put some sauce on it. They think it's ono, so, you know, everybody's got their thing. But here, I cut off as much of the fat as I can. One last piece of onion, and that one's pow. My first one. We'll get to cooking those. And the Let's rest see. of them. Okay, I'm gonna cook these on a medium high heat. Got a little bit of oil in there, it's hot. I'm gonna move the oil around a little bit so I can get it on the chicken, uh, so it'll be nice and crispy. Get that nice crust on it. Put this one on the side. Got another big one in the middle. I have one more on the outside, and I'm cooking these for four minutes per side. Okay, it's been about four minutes, so I'm gonna check the crust on this one. It's a nice little crust. I'm gonna flip this one over. Yeah, oh wait. I'm a little suck All right, it looks good too. So let me check this one. Let's see what it looks like. Yep, that one looks good. I'm gonna leave the other ones in the middle, the two ones in the middle, because it's got plenty of meat. It's gonna a little longer to cook it's been these have been cooking for an extra minute so i'm going to take a look and see what's happening yeah look at that crust nice and brown let me check the other one as well oh yeah that's the one okay now we're going to take our tare or our sauce that we made earlier i'm just going to brush this on each one go oh, each piece is going to get a little bit of the sauce let that cook for a minute. Just making sure all the rest of them have sauce on them too. And after I get all the sauce on them, I'm going to let this sit in the pan for about another minute. Um, and that's going to help to thicken the sauce up. And so it's also getting sauce on the other side. Okay, I'm going to flip these guys over. And I'm just going to let them sit in the sauce in the pan for about another 30 seconds and that's it you're done okay I'm gonna get the mushrooms and the onions in the pan I've got a little bit of oil in here on a medium heat get all of these in here and just get a nice dark brown color on these I'm gonna cook these for about five minutes per side I like mine done about like this. Cook them a little longer if you like. Okay, let's get the plating. So I've got some rice over here. So I'm gonna grab a, one of the skewers. Got the yakitori with the green onion. Grab one more, put it right next to it. Let's grab this one. That's the one. Oh, don't, we, don't let me forget about the mushroom and the onions. Okay, I'm gonna put this one right in the middle. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, now I'm gonna take my potato salad. It's got a little bit of carrot, hard boiled egg, 
Çok menis. Lots of menis. Okay, and then I'm gonna garnish this with a little bit of the green onion. Okay, gonna take some, put it right on top of my potato salad, a little bit of my rice, and I'm bow. And that's it. Okay, so here's my plate. I got two skewers of the yakitori with green onion. I got one skewer with the mushroom and the onions. I've also got some rice and some potato salad with a little bit of green onion on top. And that's it.